My name's Sally Bendel and I'm owner and managing director of Hollow Trees Farm. Okay, we're standing at the start of the Hollow Trees Farm Trail, which is always very popular with young families and we've got several people passing us who are going to enjoy feeding the animals and looking at the pigs and the cows and uh, hopefully have a good time here at Hollow Trees today. What standard of GCSEs do you require to be accepted for a job in your business? Well, not really any standard. Depending on what role you would come in as, we don't always require GCSEs. If you were to work amongst our office staff, we would require English and maths, um, but mainly some, a lot of the other jobs you don't really require the GCSEs. How many A-levels will I need? A-levels again, not always necessary depending on the roles we're doing um, but yes again if you were working in the office if you were doing my payroll or my accounts I would hope that you would have some A-levels in maths or equivalent. Is getting the job just about getting good qualifications and grade or more than that? It's a lot lot more than that. Uh, for us where we are on the farm we've got lots of different jobs and it's as much about um, personality and life skills and determination, commitment and stamina as well. So not just all about qualifications. What age do you take people into your businesses? Do you take on apprenticeships? We do take apprenticeships. Um, the minimum age we will take somebody is 15. Uh, within the coffee shop um, it will be 16. And yes, we do take apprenticeships. At present we're looking for apprentice butcher and we will look at apprentice in retail, agriculture, or any of the different aspects of the businesses we do here, events and hosting as well. So lots of different opportunities. How easy is it to get a job in your business? If we have the vacancy, it's quite easy. Um, if you've got the right attributes, if you show to me your different um, experience and um, although just backtracking on that a little bit, I get a lot of applicants. Um, so in actual fact, the once you've got past the initial stage, if you've got the right attributes, then yes, it would be quite easy to work with us. What do you expect from a young person who wants to work in your company? I would like commitment more than anything. Um, the ability to turn up on time, ahead of time, and I would expect manners. Uh, these are all the things that matter to me. And I would expect um, somebody to have an interest in what we're doing and to be confident in themselves. I would much prefer somebody came to me applying for a job as opposed to their mum or their parent. Um, but I would just like to see a willingness to just embrace the business and embrace the opportunities and a bit of determination and as we said stamina. We do ask for hard work but it's quite rewarding working here. How do you decide if they're good enough? Once we've got past the interview we will always trial people it will always be a couple of weeks trial and then we will always do a probation period whether that's three months or whether that's six months and during that time we have several meetings with people to see we're quite honest with them about what we like and what we don't like and we recommend improvement or you know we look at people regularly um, so we hopefully develop people as they go. How much could I earn if I worked in your business after leaving college or school? Straight from leaving college, I would imagine you'd possibly be on an hourly rate of in excess of 6 50 an hour, um, depending on how many hours you do. However, we move all the way through to our top skilled butchers who um, can be looking at a salary of in the 20, 25,000 plus um, because they are skilled. There's opportunities for development. Um, but if you were just leaving college, uh, even our apprenticeships, we generally pay more than the recommended rate um, by the government just because we think we have to have the best here and so we will pay a good wage. And we will also always help uh, pay a bit more because you have to travel to hollow trees. How much more could I earn if I progressed in your business? We have a development going from just um, our sort of trainee assistants or trainee butchers um, going right through to the team leaders um, who are on a lot more and say earning some very good salaries. How did you start out in this business, particularly this job? Um, my background, I trained in agriculture and had always worked on farms and due to circumstances 
um, beyond our control, we found we had to start selling. And so my role has evolved and grown over the years and I've had to basically just learn new skills as I've gone along. Um, but I started by training in agriculture, which is the basis of our business here, despite the fact it's retail and catering and everything else, it's still farming. And without that qualification um, and without that grounding, we, um, I would struggle to continue. But I have continued training as I've gone along. So when I needed to do farm accounts, I went on a farm accounts course. And when I needed to employ people, I go on courses even now to help me out. Did you always want to do this job when you were younger? Um, I actually wanted to be a dance teacher which is completely different from what I'm doing now but it's a very long story uh, as to why I didn't but I've actually got an A level in dance. Did you find it stressful running a business? It can be at times but I think there are just different ways you have to deal with it. Um, it's not always the situation that you're confronted with it's how you deal with it and I'm very very fortunate to have so much space that if I'm um, finding something just getting really difficult I can go for a very long walk on the farm or as I've told we've had a look at our barns today and I've always said that my favorite place on the farm is in our education barn and that's nice and quiet at the end of the day but yeah it has its challenges but nothing Nothing is unsurmountable and you can always get round things and that's how you have to look at it. How do you go about finding employees? Usually we will put a sign up in our farm shop. We have a lot of public come through and generally we'll do that. We also encourage, um, we have a financial incentive for our staff to bring on people they would recommend. They can recommend their friends, but only if they think their friends are good. They only get the finance reward after the friend has stayed with us for a few months. Um, occasionally we will go through the newspapers. Sometimes if we need more skilled workers, for instance, our butchers. Um, and we have just recruited our new events and um, uh, marketing girl has just been recruited she's a graduate from the university in Ipswich so we put adverts on their website as well what life skills will I need to go into the world of work that will make me more employable a willingness to be flexible with your employer if they're asking you to start at eight as opposed to nine which you might want um, you work to that um, Stamina, I think, as well. It's a very different world in work than it is at school. It's hard at school, but it, it can be a shorter day, and we do find students coming through need to build up to the hours that we are requiring of them, especially at weekends. But just a willingness to embrace what's out there and a willingness to work hard, um, be flexible, and in, to enjoy it. It really shows for us if our staff are enjoying their work they get so much more out of it and, and so do we. Do you think we are too young to choose what we want to do in life? Yes, I think so. I think you always need to leave your options open because life can deal some dif difficulties along the line and I think even if you chose what you wanted to do now and say you wanted to be a nurse now, I think you need to keep your options open and, and just think, well, I want to be a nurse, but further down the line, you might decide to become a paediatric nurse or a midwife or something like that. I think it's hard to expect you to know exactly what you want to do at this age, and I don't think many students do. A recent statement said that employers are from Venus and young people are from Mars. Do you agree with this? Is the gap really that wide? No, I don't think it is. We employ uh, approximately 20 students all year round here and I don't think it's that wide. I do think there are things that students come to us with that we need to just work on. But um, I, our students, as I've said on our tour around Hollow Trees today, are the energy and the life here. And I think if we embrace that, that gap can be, even if there is a gap, we can just reduce it. Should more visits like this be organised so that um, businesses and schools have more um, communication? Yes, I think they should. Uh, we always appreciate having um, students come out because we are more in line with what you're doing at school or college or and um, so we can tailor our employment opportunities to what you're doing and vice versa. You can come and see what the world of work is all about 
and talk to our staff and, and just see what we're doing and just shows you just more opportunities that you might not have realised to hear. For instance, today you've seen chefs, you've seen butchers, you've seen office staff, you've seen event staff. And, you know, I don't think a lot of students would have realised all those opportunities are out in the countryside for you. Do you think this project will help us when we leave school and go into college or a workplace? I think it will and I really hope it will and um, yeah because it will give you confidence um, and make you realise that as employers we're not big and scary um, and so yeah I think it would be good and I think it's a great project for you to do. Nice Action!